Alright, so while everybody else is doing all of these um, impractical combo videos for Whip and all these neat things you can do with the reflect mood, uh, that's really cool and that's great and all, but I wanted to talk about what I thought about the character overall and uh, my impressions of Whip, what you can do, what you can't do. And I'm basing a lot of my impressions on um, the last game I played her in, which was 2K2UM. And um, it feels a little weird going from that to this game because there's kind of like less overall that she has. But I'm kind of used to that with 14 because it's kind of the same way going from 13 to 14 because characters are overall a little less crazy than they are in, uh, in 13. But um, some things bother me. I think some things are, are neat. And um, her options in general lead to better damage than they used to, but that's kind of the nature of the game too. Um, one thing that's really strange to me that I think is a, an odd choice is this move. Um, far C is unsafe on hit. Uh, it's definitely unsafe on block. If you do this move at all, you have to max cancel it. Um, there's nothing else you're going to use it for. If you hit it with a like an anti-air type situation, if that even happens, like a lot of times it'll even whiff. So um, not a great idea to do it for that either. Um, as you can see, the recovery on that is not great if it even hits them. So I've had it completely whiff before, and someone just land and punish me. So I think the hitbox is uh, not great for that. It's not good for neutral. Um, it's only okay if you have max meter and you can kind of do some gimmicky stuff uh, with it where you like immediately max and then do the overhead. Um, something like that. But they can, if they know you're going to do that, they can jump. It's not amazing. I'm not sure exactly what they expect you to do with that. Um, you know, I guess you, you have to do it like a low or an overhead on max cancel and block, I guess is what they expect you to do. But if you hit with it and you don't have meter, you're going to get punished for it. Um, so that's not great. Her new command normal is really cool. I like it. Um, it's actually just her old standing light punch, but it's now a uh, back light punch and it's great for confirms. So you can use it for this. Um... So that's neat, and um, she still has forward A. It's um, it's about as bad as it usually is, <laughs> but you can confirm uh, maxes off of it. So you can use uh, one, two, three, four, and then do that. Um, so that's not bad. Um, of course, you have to be hitting with that, and you have to confirm into hitting with 6A anyway, like you can't just do that on block because uh, they could just guard cancel roll it or they could let you finish it and then it's kind of a guessing game where you can cancel the recovery of the last hit into a special move but none of them are particularly amazing. Uh, the most, the safest thing you could probably do in a general situation is, um, is that. That's the, the B version of the uh, the stance and it's uh it's okay. There's still ways they can get around that. They can just roll <laughs> after the uh, after this string and well they can still punish you. So not great. Um, her CD is not all that amazing in this game either. It's it's all right. Um, the other stance moves are all right. The, C, the C version is really 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 unsafe and that's the low. So. Uh, the mix-up is kind of, well, normally they're going to expect the overhead, so they might see you go into stance and, you know, forget about the low and get hit by it. But, if they block it, I mean, you're, you're not in good shape. <laughs> and, of course, if they hop it, then you're definitely dead. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the B version, best version on block, and if it hits for some reason, uh, you can combo after it. So, you see this in combo videos a lot. Where they, you know they hit with that and then start a combo. That's not going to happen in a match, <laughs> but you know if you if you're looking to max out your damage and just make videos, that's cool. Um, let's see, jump CD is still pretty good. I think it's probably her best uh, overall normal period. Um, the other normals 
Uh, jump C, of course. Pretty good as well. And she does have her initial jump normals in this game. So that's good. And this one is still pretty big, pretty good. Uh, initial jump C. But the thing is, she does not have a good air-to-air -air besides jump D. And that is still not very... Um, it doesn't hit angles up and to the, to the right of her, which is kind of Whip's um, weak angle in general. Unless you try to use this, which is not a, really an upwards forwards hitbox either, it's kind of just like straight up around her. Um, it will beat stuff air to air, but uh, I would kind of like her to have a normal that kind of goes a little bit up and to the right a little bit there. Uh, but unfortunately, she does not have such a thing. And that leads me into the biggest problem I think Whip has in this game, is that she does not have a good grounded anti-air, uh, especially for anti-hop. So she has this move, this is the new Crouch D. Crouch D used to be a sweep, uh, your sweep is now this move, Crouch C. So this move is good against full jumps, um, even if it trades you can get a combo off of it. It functions almost the same thing as, uh, as Remy's Crouch Fierce and Third Strike. It's about the same thing as that. Uh, so if they do full jumps, you can combo off of it. Uh, but you have to cancel it. And you get that kind of special animation for the A version of, um, of the stance move. So that's, that's pretty good damage for an anti-air too, you know, that's, that's really cool. But, um, and of course, uh, Boomerang Shot works as well. When I first saw this, I thought it was still anywhere juggling with Boomerang Shot, but it's not. It's just Juggle State, because you can see them fall to the ground like that. Um, and of course, like I said, you have to cancel that to get it to work. So that's neat. That's cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can get an OTG after that, because you're too far away. Um, and I'll go into OTGs here in a second. But... Anyway, yeah, this this is good against full jumps. It's not bad against that. But if they hop at you, your options are not very good. <laughs> uh, this move is not anywhere close to three frames like a good crouching uh, normal anti-air would be. Um, if you want to anti-hop in this game, I think you're going to have to use one of these two. You're going to have to standing A or maybe standing D. But standing D is not particularly fast either, and um, it may not win either. So. That's not a very good situation for her. Uh, they can just kind of hop at you for free, especially if they have enough frames to get in on you. Uh, like you just blocked a CD or they have like a, something that gave them a little bit of frame advantage to get on top of you. There's not going to be a whole lot you can do to stop them, unfortunately. Now, if you're in max mode, you can do this move because it is incredibly fast. And I'm not sure if it's invincible or if it's just really fast or if it has a good... Um, or if she shrinks her hurt box a good bit. I, I, I'm pretty sure she low profiles with all versions of Boomerang Shot, which is great. Um, but this version might be invincible, and it's faster. So if you know they're hopping at you, and you're in max mode, you can do that. <laughs> so uh, that's something, I guess. Um, otherwise, um, she doesn't get anything else in max mode that's anti-air, as, as I can think of right now. Um, at first, I was wondering if uh, if this was going to be kind of like versus, uh, you know, like ground punch thing, because it's kind of a similar move. But no, it's not really anti-air from what I can tell. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe it would be like a really obscure property thing, kind of like uh, versus. But it's it's not like you can't really use it like that. Uh, you can anti-air with her supers as well, but they have specific weaknesses to both of them. Um, the kick one, of course, has the dead zone straight in front of you. So if they just, you know, position themselves just right, then it's going to whip, like, completely. And uh, uh, this move is not invincible at all. Um, you have to use the level 2 version. And the problem with the level 2 version is it's invincible at first at startup, but it loses invincibility a little bit later. So if they... Um, if their timing is a little different, or if they full jump at you, the invincibility might wear off before you hit them, and they'll just beat it clean. Um, and that is not a move you want to trade with either, because you'll just get like one hit of, the, of whipping them, and that's not going to do anything. Um, so, 
That leaves you with this, this move, uh, the Climax, and you know, it's, it can anti-air, it can, it will, and uh, it's not bad for that. It's kind of like a, a K-Nash Dragon Punch, right? Like you're just going to go all the way across the screen, and it'll be very difficult for them to punish you if you get strong. But it's your freaking Climax, so it's going to cost you all of your meter, and I'm not sure you're going to play Whip on Anchor. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you will, I don't know. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's not that's not amazing. It's something, but it's not what I'm kind of hoping that she has. Uh, I would really like this move to be three or four frames, maybe, or um, or preferably just to have all two C back. Because while this move is neat, um, it's not bad. It doesn't have quite as much range as it looks like it does. As you can see, it's not as long as it animates, but um, it's not bad. And I was watching uh, Romance's stream, and I saw him do this thing where he was like almost point blank, and he immediately max canceled it into the uh, into the punch super, and, and that combos. And I guess that's neat. You're not going to do that either, but you know, at least it's something that can happen. Uh, I haven't tried to do that yet. Let's see if I can do that. I didn't work. I didn't work, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Let's see, I think it's, it works even with recovery on. Let's see, I'll try it one more time. Well, there you go. There's an, that's another thing about this and this. Um, the, uh, the 4A doesn't have a dead zone, but those two moves do. Anyway, alright, let's see. Well, oh, there you go. Um, yeah, you have to do it like immediately, so you can't even like confirm into it. I don't know, man. That's about it. Maybe I gotta do it slower. Let's see. I have no idea. To be sure, he didn't have recovery off. Like, that's... That would be terrible. Okay, I'll wait a little bit there. Let me wait a little bit longer. No, maybe he just had recovery turned off. That's... That sucks. <laughs> so you can't even do that. Um, which makes sense. I mean, uh, you shouldn't be able to get OTGs if they have recovery on. Um, so yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this move. I would rather have the old Crouch D back. Because the thing about uh, old Crouch D was that she would lean forwards a good bit when she did the move. And it was, was kind of low profile too, so it was like a really nice uh, evasive sweep. And it was really active too. Um, I like that move. This one is kind of like a, just a, I don't know, like a, just a long range sweep. It's like a low version of a low part 2C, I guess, but you know. Anyway, um, I thought this was a target combo when I first saw it, but it's actually just the new close D. This is close D, and um, you know, you might think, oh, okay, I'm going to use that for my uh, jumping confirms, right? But you're going to have that happen. <laughs> and uh, what that is, it's not as fast as close C, so you're not going to have the uh, the frames available to you usually to hit with that on just a standard jump in. You have to do it really deep if you want to hit um, two hit close D like that, and that's hardly ever going to happen because um, your jump ins are not particularly strong, and you're probably not going to jump in with whip all that much without this. And I don't even know if you have frames to do this, like at all, period. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it works. So maybe low as possible, but probably even not this. Um, so yeah, that's that's not amazing. Um, some other things that are kind of weird is this move, far B, used to be uh, cancelable. Because it would be part of your, you know, your close B confirm if you didn't want to use uh, low B. But in this game, far B is not cancelable. They could they could basically just take it out of the game and it wouldn't really matter because uh, it's not a good KO14 